Welcome everybody to another uh, spectacular episode of CEI Smart Board Tuesdays. Uh, my name is Greg Bullock, I'm the marketing guy here at CEI and we are incredibly thrilled to present Mr. Shannon Hernandez. Um, he is not only a, a radio personality for 98KUPD, but he is actually a Google Plus specialist and that's what he's going to talk about today. So uh, Shannon? The board is yours, man. Take it away. Thank you so much for having me. I do appreciate it. Um, and you know, when I come to these classes, I always talk about how important it is uh, to manage your on-site, off-site SEO in your website. Um, another uh, opportunity for you to get involved in more SEO, which would probably benefit you more, would be being involved in Google+. Now, you hear so much about people saying, I need to be involved in Google+, and it has to, I, but I don't know, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I think part of the problem is that it's because people don't want to jo join another network. They don't want to upload more videos. They don't want to upload more, more photos. They don't want to do any more updating. But Google Plus has made it to where it is now more valuable than ever because everything that you do inside of Google Plus is searchable. That's a big thing for your website and your hub because you want thing, you want people going to your website, you want them buying the products off of your website, you want them getting the services from your website. I feel I need to start here with, you know, why do I need to start another social media network? But we focus first on why we're on Facebook. Well, we're on Facebook first because we, our friends are all there. All of our friends are there. And sometimes we meet new people every now and again. And, you know, sometimes they're business contacts. But you're probably going to see more uh, posts that are more casual. Kind of like, I don't like sometimes to dress up all the time because I feel as though I get more things productive whenever I'm dressed down. Um, it's not about what is on the outside. It's about what's on the inside. And so people get to really know you on Facebook. On Twitter, it's more of a, um, a place where you're getting real-time updates. Uh, the tragic bombings in Boston, where you were able to get that information right away. The Jody Arias uh, trial yesterday, that came instantly on Twitter. So I followed my Twitter streams extremely close. However, you have these other social networking websites like uh, Pinterest. Uh, you have social bookmarking sites like Reddit, Instagram, and Tumblr. And these, tum these all these sites all lead into the big wheel, like I call right here. It's, uh, it's all towards your SEO, but it all comes into your wheel of SEO. Uh, you have your hub as your website, okay? All the SEO that you do within your website, you have to do all the SEO inside. The on-site SEO, you have to go in and you have to optimize your blogs, you have to optimize your pages, you have to do all this optimization to make sure that you're searchable. So if I'm looking for CEI Gateway, or I look for any posts of like maybe Google+, Plus, maybe somewhere along those lines, if you had created a post, that I might come up, that post may come up. But What's equally as important is that you have to do your off-site SEO. And this is going to include sharing things to Facebook, to Twitter, um, social bookmarks like StumbleUpon, and like I mentioned, Reddit, Dig, um, and we'll get to this here shortly. Uh, contributing and sharing content, that is SEO. You're optimizing your content to get out there. Um, and then you have Google+. It's another source that drives traffic to your website, but each post is indexed or it becomes searchable within the network, okay? So it makes you more discoverable. So if you want to talk about something that has to deal with, we'll say, for instance, cats, because that's the biggest thing on the internet everywhere. <laughs> but if you want to talk about cats and maybe you're a big cat person, and maybe yeah. you have a cat website, um, you're, you're probably going to become more searchable when you go into an actual Google search and you start, start you know, top cat sites on the internet, and as, as long as you continue to contribute to the network, your posts now become searchable. Now, when I say they're searchable, it means that actual post, when you go into Google+, Plus, or I'm sorry, when you go into Google, is searchable. Google+, Plus is a network for people where they want to learn and they want to share, okay? So they, if you're not contributing to the network by just, uh, if you're just posting things about your own company, probably not going to work. It's good to always share other people's content right. because they see things that you find interesting and then you're sharing that content. It's just, it's the law of reciprocation. Yeah. So you're helping each other out. It's like a hub of information. Right, it's a hub of information. Yeah. So what you're doing is you continue to, to share these ideas and, and, and these posts and not only do you, you start building authority, but people start beginning to trust you, yeah, exactly. okay? And then here's the most important thing, productivity tools. Uh, you can. This is a huge thing that I do uh, on the side whenever I'm uh, uh, consulting. You can create documents within Google+. This would be in the uh, Hangouts portion right here, okay? You can collaborate, create documents in Excel, presentations, and uh, it, within Google Hangouts, and you've probably heard about Google Hangouts, it's like Skype, but it's like Skype on steroids, okay? Um, you can host shows, your tutorials, you can create uh, meetings and conference calls you can have right there. 
you can do so many things on there and it all becomes searchable because Hangouts are linked to YouTube, which is a property of Google. Yeah, at that point. Right. So just to get started, just to even get started in Google Plus, you, you need to create a Gmail account. If you haven't done that, you need to do that. Visit plus.google.com and complete your profile. When I say complete your profile, you need to complete your profile across the board. Across right? the board, yeah. yes. That's so important, right? Just because, I mean, that, that's again, you go back to SEO for that very reason, you know? Make sure that you, you put, gosh, your information in there, how people need to reach you, right. where your, of course where your website is, you know, your Twitter, your Facebook, all your social media presences, because that all becomes searchable in Google for that right. reason. Your about page will be, it's searchable yeah. at that point. Now, unlike in Facebook where it's not searchable, now you see it's searchable in Google. So it's searchable. So thoroughly complete, upload pictures, just don't have some boring two pictures up there. You want some pictures that are gonna be, maybe that come from your Facebook and you transfer them over into your, into your Google Plus. <laughs> Use the Explore tab and you'll see that when you get into the network and you can find some really amazing information up there. There's a lot of stuff on science when I go on there. Uh, there's some, some great stuff on uh, uh, inspiration, um, things that you just, that people will always share. So the biggest thing, contribute and share and use that plus one button. You probably have seen the plus one button on many websites. Right. Well, it counts outside of your website, so that's your offsite SEO. You want to post that, you want to you want to punch it, and you want to post it to your Google Plus site. Yeah. So it goes, use the plus one button, uh, it's on Google Plus, and it works for your offsite SEO too. Okay? Now I do have one of the questions, I think, especially that came up in the lunch and learn, I think people were having a tough time differentiating between sort of the personal side of Google Plus and then the professional side. Mm -hmm. You know, when really, as you could probably attest, is they actually, they're not necessarily mutually exclusive. Right. Like, I mean, if you're sharing content from your company page, mm -hmm. or, you know, if you're sharing content that, you know, can link back to your company page, that's huge. Like, you right. can't just assume, oh, my Google Plus is like Facebook, I'm gonna start posting about, hey, I went to dinner here. You right. know, I mean, it's it can be such a vibrant source for your SEO. It's highly beneficial for you and your website to drive up that traffic into your website. You may not see it drive up instantly, but that means you have to constantly be on it. I, I compare it, like I said before, our lunch and learns. It's like an exercise routine. When you start your exercise routine, you say, I'm gonna start. If you only do three days and then you're done, that you didn't lose the weight. Yeah. You have to continue with the course and you have to do it over the course of time in order to start seeing results. So that is why I urge everyone to get on Google+. Facebook is where the people are. Yes, you need to use it, but this is going to add some extra juice to where your website, uh, where you want your website placed on the internet. Awesome. Well, tell people how they can find out more about you and get some yes. more of these great updates and especially more about Google+. Plus. You can go to my website, shannonjhernandez.com. That site, um, as of this recording, will, uh, is, is still uh, in beta form. So there's just a landing page. So just go to Shannon J. Hernandez and you can sign up for my updates right there. And I'll give you uh, some great information and weekly uh, updates in uh, your email. Uh, you can also <laughs> find me on Google+, plus, gplus.to slash shanman. And uh, if you're wondering how I got that handle right there and that uh, vanity URL, you'll just have to follow my up. <laughs> well, great. Um, and also, too, uh, we can't forget to mention that we're actually talking about doing an advanced session on June 3rd with this man next to us. Um, he's going to kind of dig a little bit deeper into Google Plus and how people can kind of get started and really maximize it, um, you know, for their social media um, presence. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and give the board a scan here. <laughs> and then uh, we will see you guys next time.